What's up guys, my name is Gabby with Training with Gabby and today I'm gonna to be training with the Power Hands Power Pack. So, we're gonna get in a 10 minute intense workout. We're gonna use these sliders and then we're also going to use a band. All right, so let's go ahead and get situated here. I'm gonna go ahead and put on my band around the top of my knees, right at the bottom of my thighs. From here, we're gonna find an all fours position. So remember, as we start this exercise, as we start our movement, to always breathe in through the nose, out through the mouth. Nice, steady breath. Try to keep your breath the whole time. Make sure that you're focusing on keeping your core in line, tight, and engaged. We're going to start in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, pop up off your knees in 4, 3, 2, and one. We're going to go onto our toes into a bear crawl position. From here, we're going to tap our shoulders. So as I'm in this bear crawl position with my band, I'm just maintaining the extension between my knees. I'm trying to keep my core in line and tight, and then I'm tapping one shoulder at a time. Touch, touch, touch. So I'm trying to minimize as much movement as I can. I don't want to sway back and forth too much. I want to focus on my breath and I'm gonna squeeze my belly button into my spine. And you're here for 10 more seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and rest. Nice, okay. From here, we're gonna stay in the same position in all fours. So now we can rest the knees down. We're gonna lift our left leg up in a fire hydrant in three, two, left leg comes up, lift the knee out to the side, go all the way back down. So from here, we're gonna pull against the band, open up the leg, knee to the ceiling, and we're gonna use that resistance of the band to activate the glutes. Focus on your breath here in through the nose, out through the mouth. The all fours position is a great way to, again, activate your core, but without having to do so much crunching, so much repetition. I'm just gonna focus on pulling my belly button in. Last 10 seconds, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, we're gonna stay on this same leg. We're gonna kick this leg straight back. So again, using the same leg, I'm gonna go up to the ceiling with my heel this time, lifting up, taking it all the way back down to a toe tap. And it's three, two, lift. So we come up, drop it back down, up, drop it back down, lift. Very small lift. I really don't have to do too much here. Again, focusing on the core engagement, breathing in through my nose, out through my mouth, keeping my hands underneath my shoulders, and then my opposite knee underneath my hips. Breathing in through the nose, steady breath out. And last 10 seconds here. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, from here, we're gonna make this a combo move. So now I'm gonna extend my opposite arm from the leg that we were just using. Right arm is gonna extend out, same side leg out. So I'm going back to that toe tap. This time I'm gonna crunch in in three, two, one. Toe tap back, knee to elbow touch, reach back, push against the band. Squeeze in the center. Extend out nice and long. Squeeze and push. A Little bit of shoulder engagement here. Even from this all fours position, I'm already feeling my shoulders turn on, especially my base arm. Squeeze through the center. Try to get that elbow to touch that knee as much as you can. Squeeze, exhale on that crunch. 10 seconds, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and 
one. Okay, we're gonna change positions here. So now I'm gonna sit onto my elbow and my hip. So I wanna be nice and comfy here, literally like I'm just chilling, right? So I still have my band around the top of my knees, right at the bottom of my thighs. My heels are gonna go together. Again, I'm bracing my core. Sometimes I like to just grab my side just to make sure that I'm engaging my core as much as I can, especially this bottom oblique. From here, we're gonna lift the, through the top leg, squeezing the heels together, and then opening up against that band here. If you haven't already started, go ahead and start to lift that top leg up, clamshell, and squeeze the outside glute. So again, as I'm pushed off this uh, bottom elbow here, I'm trying to keep this oblique squeezed and tight as well. Lift and push against the band. We're still on that same leg and we're feeling it. And last five seconds, four, three, two, and relax. All right, that glute should be on fire at this point. From here, we're gonna extend out with the top leg. This time we're gonna lift all the way up through the heel as high as we can against that band, all the way back down. So it goes up and down. And if you haven't already started, you can get moving here with that top leg, touch the heel down or the, slide, the side of the foot and then lift up through the heel. It's up, down, up, down. Squeeze and feel the resistance of that band. So just go as high as you can. Um, again, keeping the band into account. I can't go too high just as far as I can. Last 10 seconds here, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, and three, you're gonna hold this position, and two, and one. I want you to hold this leg up. This time we're gonna pulse. This is gonna be our finishing move on this side. Lift it, hold it. We're gonna be here for just 10 more seconds. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and relax. Nice job. Okay, we're gonna take this band off. Okay, so we've only done one side so far, but what I want you to do is I want you to repeat this video and do it on your other leg. But for now, we're gonna go ahead and move on to our sliders. Set the band to your side, go ahead and grab your power hand sliders. From here, I'm gonna find a plank position. I'm gonna angle out so that you guys can see my lower half here. All right, so I'm gonna get set with my feet on top of these sliders. So these sliders are really, really, really effective on turf or carpet. So right now I'm on some turf and these are gonna work just great. Okay, from here I'm gonna start off in all fours, then pop up to my feet. From here we're gonna do a traditional mountain climber, but we're gonna go nice and slow. So I want you to pull the knee in as far as you can. And if you can, try to touch your elbow to your knee all the way back. So it's in, all the way back. Notice the pacing here. I'm trying to go super duper duper slow and I'm trying to pull my belly button into my spine, slightly round out my back in this high plank. And I'm breathing, exhaling on the contraction, squeeze here for about 10 more seconds. Last 10, nine, eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, and relax. Good, take it back down to your knees. All right, we're gonna switch this over to our hands. Yes, you can use sliders on your hands. All right, so we're gonna pop back up into a high plank. Now make sure you're secure and you're not gonna go anywhere, right? So we're gonna pop up into that high plank and we're gonna slightly lift our shoulders, pushing through our hands just an inch up, an inch back. Alternating sides, small slide up, reset right underneath the shoulder once again. Hold the core, try to minimize any wiggling, try to stay as stable as you can. Breathe in through the nose, out through the mouth. Nice work, if you aren't feeling your core yet, I am. Hold it tight, squeeze about 10 more seconds here. 10, nine, eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, and let it go. Nice. 
Okay, we have one more move here. We're gonna bring these sliders right back to our feet. Walk it back, find your positioning. Okay, from here, we're in a bear crawl. So we're gonna move up in that bear crawl four times, move back to the bear crawl four times. So four steps, keep it super small, tiny movement here. We're gonna start in three, two, one, and pop up in the bear crawl position. So it's one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, small steps. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Don't worry too much about what side is moving at a time. Just try to alternate. And I also try to do opposite limbs here. Last 10 seconds, finish your reps. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and finishing. Okay, Whew. so that was a good core and glute burnout with our sliders and our band. So what I want you to do before you finish your workout is go ahead and switch it to the other side. So you haven't already done this workout two times, repeat this video, do it one more time on the other side, and I'll see you again for your next workout. Bye.